Stories continuing to emerge following Jeffrey Epstein's surprising death over the weekend. Uh, one that caught our eye uh, was uh, a piece in the New York Times from Jim Stewart writing about the day that Epstein invited Stewart to his Manhattan mansion. This is about a year ago. And the dirt that he spilled or really didn't spill in some cases over the week over that that meeting. Joining us right now is Ed Lee. He's a corporate media reporter at The New York Times, also a CNBC contributor, but uh, a lot of tongues are wagging, uh, eyebrows yeah, raised caught a lot of as people right. read uh, about it. I think the biggest sort of takeaway was just Jeffrey Epstein's either lies about what he's what he's saying or trying to leave people with the impression that he has dirt on others that he knows more than than you know that he should or that people right. also interesting that he the presumption is that well you know my infamy is sort of what's attracted people to, to like open up right and so confess their sins in a way that like oh no or do you think that's secrets. just him trying to turn it's him and that's the other thing like I think Jim it was an interesting column I think uh, he, he himself admitted in the column he didn't come away with much from the actual meeting in terms of he didn't get that much information out of him. He, but, he went but, what it does, but what that column does do is it fans the flames to some degree right. of, I don't know if you want to call them conspiracy theories or not, but to the extent there are views out there that this was not a suicide or that it was a suicide with help. That he had or information that, there was, that. Or that there was something or that amiss. His assets should be frozen and investigated because of what might be found right. during right. the course exactly. of said investigation. I mean, there's a lot to unpack there. And it's more of a tease than anything else, ultimately. It was, I thought what was interesting is that um, it's, a, you know, when someone is in that position of power, supposedly, that there's always this sort of small circle of, hey, you know so-and-so, can you help me out with this? The presumption of that meeting uh, that, that Jim took was that he had heard that Elon Musk had reached out to him to help him figure out, hey, create a roster of independent directors. He was under fire for that tweet that he had put out. Um, it, whether or not that's true, the point is, is that, you know, he, there's this idea that people of Epstein's stature, right, sort right. of privy to money and people and power and connections, and that was his real... I just want to suggest to you, because I remember doing some of the reporting on this myself yes, during I that period, you know, right, yeah. that uh, both Tesla and Elon Musk specifically and vehemently they denied... Said, no, we've never had any connection. Any, any connection to him uh, on, this, on this particular issue whatsoever, and in fact that when pressed even in that column, Epstein didn't they have an email and then said, actually, I didn't really get an email from Elon. I got an email from somebody else. It was someone connected I mean, to Elon. I right? think that what happened here was Epstein trying again to insert himself into the conversation, if you will. And, then um, the and that seems to be something he seemed to do regularly as a way to prove to others that he was more important than he perhaps he really was. What's crazy is that he kept inviting Jim back for more Hey, can you go and have lunch with Woody Allen and, and others? Um, you got the sense that he's basically alone. <laughs> he did some company. At least that was Jim's uh, takeaway from it. So it was, it was interesting and sad at the same w time. Woody and Jeff were friends? Oh, yeah. There are pictures and everything. Apparently, Jeff is friends with a lot of people, though. That's an just. interesting one, though, Woody and Jeff. I, I mean, <laughs> I'll leave it at that, but uh, not for nothing. Not um, for nothing. Yeah. You're going to talk in high places, Joe. It